Buongiorno. Here's another episode of Cuatro Minuti con Casanova. I'm on the Grand Canal again, on the other side of the Grand Canal, at the Vaporetto station for San Tomas. And I picked this because behind me here you can see this fine palazzo. Uh, it has some wooden shutters and a little bit of red drapery, if you can see that one there and a little boat in front of it. That's the Palazzo Contarini della Figura. And in Casanova's time, it was owned by a, a Countess Contarini. And uh, it wasn't a place that Casanova hung out a lot, but there's a really great story of when he did go there. Here's what was going on. He was a teenager. He was studying for the priesthood. He had taken initial orders to be an abate, which is you know someone who's studying and, and kind of taking part of the orders, but not full orders yet. Uh, he was a very vain young man. He loved his hair. Apparently he had beautiful long hair. Uh, his brother Francesco was very jealous of his hair because Francesco's hair was not so great. And he actually wore a wig, you know, a periwig, like those powdered things you see in movies. And uh, Casanova, however, wore his own hair. Well, he was vain about it. He talked about it. And this guy's, you know, he's supposed to be a priest. So the that uh, Casanova was studying under was the Abate Tosello, and Tosello felt like Casanova needed a lesson here. So one day while Casanova was sleeping, uh, the uh, priest Abate Tosello came in and cut off all of Casanova's forelocks, as he said. So I don't know, the bangs, the front of his hair. Just cut it right off. When Casanova woke up, he was so angry. He, it was like the end say that he was in the right and could exact bloody revenge for this. So he he just was going crazy. And uh, then, you know, Casanova didn't know what to do. He was too vain to go out in society. This is at the time when he often was going to Senator Malapiero's house to dine. He was afraid to be seen. So what he did was, uh, Senator Malapiero said, hey, go see the Countess Contarini. And she 